Now let's talk about angle relationships. This is chapter 1-5, or a section on uh, angle relationships. What we want to do first is there's vocabulary in here is pretty intense, and it's going to take just a little bit of time, but uh, let's get into it. We're also going to be referring to some things that uh, uh, you already are supposed to know, so uh, let's dig into it. First thing I want to talk about is adjacent angles. Let's talk about what their definition, formal definition is, and then uh, let's go into some examples and non-examples. Adjacent angles. Two angles, that's a symbol for angles, that lie in the same plane. They have to be in the same plane. They can't be in different planes. They have a common vertex. They have a common center point, And a common side. They have to share a side. It's like your adjacent neighbor shares a fence with you. That common side is going to be a fence that that angles that those two angles share with each other. Okay, but they have no common interior points. Huh? We'll get into that as a non-example. One more time: adjacent angles, two angles that lie in the same plane, have a common vertex and a common side, but no common interior points. We can generally say that they are two angles that are side by side with each other. Have a fence between them, a side. Let's look at the examples. Examples, angle ABC and angle CBD. Angle ABC. Now remember that angles are made up of what? What makes up the sides of angles? Huh? Not lines. Line segments could be. But in this case, we're looking at rays. Ray BA and ray BC make up the angle ABC. Okay? Vertex at what? B. Ray BC and ray BD make up the angle CBD. Okay? They have a common vertex at a common point at B. All right? Notice that angle ABC and CBD, they have a common vertex, B, and a common side, ray BC. They have no common interior points. Okay? The only thing they have in common is this side. It's right there. Nothing on the interior of this is on the interior of that. Okay? what it means, no common interior points. Now let's look at some line segments that create angles. Angle ABC over here, angle ABC over here, and angle CBD. They have a common vertex. What's a common vertex? They have B as a common vertex. This angle right here and this angle here. Okay. They also have a common side, line segment BC. The sides of ABC are segment BA and segment BC. The, the sides of angle CBD are segment BC and segment BD. But they have no common interior points. There's nothing inside here that is the same as what's over here. Segment BC is the common side for both of them. Okay? Examples of. Now let's go over here in red to the non-examples. See what we say. Non-examples. We have angle ABC and angle ABD. Angle ABC is made up of ray BA and BC. Angle ABD is made up of ray BA and BD. So we have ABC and ABD. But inside of ABD we have what? We have this thing, don't we? Now, these two share a common vertex. It's a common vertex in B. They share a common side. They share ray BA as a common side. But inside of ABD, they have something that is an interior point. Okay? They share common interior points. ABD has an interior point that is C that this also has. It's an interior point, not an adjacent point on the fence. 
Okay, so this cannot be adjacent angles. Now let's look at this one. Okay, angle ABC. All right, made up of ray BA and ray BC and angle BCD made up of ray CB and ray CD. Now, they have a common side, but what do they not have in common? What's the center of this one? What's the vertex? B. What's the vertex of this one? C. So therefore, they do not need this, a common vertex. Have to have a common vertex, okay? Have to have a common side, cannot have interior pieces that are common to both of them, all right? Adjacent angles, very important to know that. Adjacent angles, they have to be drawn together, side by side. Think of your adjacent neighbor. You share a fence.